Um, and for your weekly HESPA tip, we're going to be talking about open endeds today. So we have this example right here, which is talking about volume, and I'm going to take you through, pointing out some crucial keywords and crucial uh, tips that you can do in order to successfully answer this question. Open ended questions on the HESPA are based out of three points three being fully correct, zero points being no attempt made. So let's get right into it. If a rectangular stick of butter, as shown below, measures 6 inches by 2 inches by 1 inch, we have three separate bullets. What is the volume of the stick of butter? You will have a formula sheet on your HESPA. Volume is length times width times height. So let's look at this first bullet. The length of the butter times the width of the butter times the height of the butter. Um, looking at the dimensions, we will see that the length is 6, the width is 2, and the height is 1. Now, one key mistake that a lot of students make is that we forget the units as I portrayed up here. You want to make sure that you specifically include 6 inches times 2 inches times 1 inch. Simple multiplying, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 1 is 12, and we have inches times inches times inches, which is cubic inches. This is your correct answer. It would not be correct if you merely had 12 there. 12 what? Especially when we're talking about open-ended problems, we're talking about real-life scenarios. We want to make sure that we have the correct units in there. Moving on to the second bullet. If you take half or 50% off each side of this stick of butter, what is the volume of the new solid? Now, it's imperative that when you are reading the open-ended questions that you read them very, very carefully. Because in this instance, it's saying if you take half off each side, not half off the volume, but rather each, each off, half off each side. So we'll have our volume formula again, but instead of using our 6 inches, our 2 inches, and our 1 inch, we are now taking half of each side. Half of 6 inches is 3 inches, half of 2 inches is 1 inch, and half of 1 inch is a half. Again, we're multiplying. 3 times 1 is 3, half of 3 is 1.5. And again, our units, since we're dealing with volume, is going to be cubic inches. Our next part is stating what is the ratio of the volume of the original stick of butter to the volume of the second? Explain and show your, show your work. It is very important that when you're working on open-ended HESPA questions that you explain and or show your work depending on what the instructions state. So this is talking about a ratio, which is a comparison of two different things, and we're comparing the original stick of butter to our second stick of butter. My original volume that I had um, ascertained is 12 cubic inches, 2, which is denoted by a colon, 1.5 cubic inches. These are my three bullets. And that would be one specific example that you would possibly see in the HESPA. And to recap on the specific tips and strategies, we must always label, always write down our formula, and always explain your work. So only here, I showed my work. I would also need to include an explanation. The comparison of the first stick of butter to the second is 12 cubic inches to 1.5. You are now complete. Hope this helped. Enjoy.